Hey everyone, it's Arabella. I'm back finally. <laughs> I have so mu many, so much to tell you. So many things happened uh, the few past few days. And first, I went to see my mother, and she gave me this tablecloth. It's white. And she saw my videos and said to me, uh, was that newspaper under your book when you were working? <laughs> I said, no, mom, it was not a newspaper. <laughs> but she said to me, maybe this white cloth will, well, it's really sort of plastic and you can craft on it. So it's really sturdy stuff. And I'm really happy with it. So I want to say to my mom, thank you for all what you gave to me. Also, these butterflies that you see um, on the book cover. And it's not attached yet. I was playing around and came up with this. And the shiny thing that you see on the back uh, of the butterflies, uh, uh, that was a gift from my neighbor. My, I have a really nice neighbor, lady, and she. I told her that I was making books, and not everybody knows it. She didn't know it yet. And then she said, I have um, some things, and I can't craft anymore, and maybe you can do something with it. And this was... Uh, as well so the butterflies from my mom the tablecloth and many many papers I got from my mom and from my neighbor I got this this was in her in a plastic envelope so these are flowers textile flowers and what's in the middle are these really stunning shiny things <laughs> And I never saw anything like it, so I'm really happy about it. And I will uh, bring her some flowers as well as my mom, but I couldn't say that. Uh, so I've been busy and also um, uh, prepared some things. So I'm going to stitch the covers inside of... Um, the signatures excuse me inside the cover so I'm going to put this aside uh, because I will attach that later on and I also have this wooden butterfly I thought it was really cute maybe it it could go together so I decided to um, and before the embellishment I put some tape so it's leveled up, so it doesn't <laughs> fall off all the time. So the inside I really finished a little bit better. This stays on like this. So if you hear my dog, she's reacting to all the sounds because it's quiet in the house. So if anyone makes a sound, she reacts to it. So if she's really loud, I will... Uh, <laughs> take her to my daughter she's upstairs but for now it's okay I guess so I have three signatures and I have three um, three holes so one signature is going here and one in the middle and one on the side first I want to show you with my new paper piercer how you make the holes in the signatures and I made the signatures a little bit bigger and decided to make it a sort of a junk journal mini album slash pretty album <laughs> and uh, attach some ledger paper with a nice uh, dragonfly sorry I didn't know the name and so on so I already told you in the last video that I made my marks and I don't put anything under it. I just put this here and make a mark like this. Uh, and put, I mean, put it through the mark and then move a little bit. So I have 
a little bit of a wider um, hole so that the it will go a little bit easy so I'm I just push through I see the mark and then I hold my fingers like that and then push through and my fingers will hold it in place like this and then you move it went a little bit crooked on the ledger paper but that's okay it's live so that can happen maybe it moved a little bit so I will work with it no matter what and so we'll see yes I'm in the middle now and then I will make this movement a little bit because uh, then the, um, the needle will go a little bit easier well I'm keeping this a little bit over there I, <laughs> I really have to watch if I'm getting the right hole so I already uh, threaded uh, the needle and then I made the this a little bit smaller so now it's it is cotton so I always use cotton I will show you I have two uh, colored ones and I thought well this album is colored so I will use a color and I uh, use this one so I thought that this blue and every color <laughs> just about this what's in the book is in there and I didn't have uh, I only had this to hold it together so it's a little bit bulky but what you do is you start in the middle and because I just made two holes <laughs> I really have to watch it and then uh, you take your needle and because this is on the right hand side I really have to watch it because this is the upper side I will check that always check 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 it's not yeah it was upside down so <laughs> I'm happy I checked so now I'm taking uh, the middle hole and push the needle through and uh, I can't do it the second time oh yes here we go and then guide it to through the middle hole then you will uh, you leave a tail a little bit of a tail and then um, wait a minute and then I go to to the other the bottom side and try to guide this through again it's a little bit tricky to do this on camera but I will try and um, try until it's through so the middle first I can't find the hole yeah found it leave a little bit of a tail as I said and then Oh, wait a minute did I do that the right way then go all the way to the bottom so you go all the way to the upper side and then I'm going to struggle a little bit maybe <laughs> I can and you really have to watch uh, which hole you are taking because I have to take the first one the first row that's how I should say it so now uh, you see this tail is on this side and when I go back into the, the inside of the book and I will make it a little bit tighter but first I'm going back in the same hole as I started and then if I'm 
doing it correctly. First I will see, I will have to see if I'm going into the right hole. <laughs> and this is a little bit tricky because now I don't have so much room to do it. So let's see, that didn't went the way I wanted to. Let's see what the other one went. <laughs> This is a little bit tricky because the angle of the camera and I don't want to get my head in the camera so I can't find the hole. Well, let's try again because if it really doesn't work I will try it without the camera because normally I'm with my face on up until the book. <laughs> so I pull it through but now the thread is uh, both on the same side and that's not what you want. You want to trap this uh, thread. So now I'm pulling and pulling until everything is where I want it and cut the thread. Maybe I will leave uh, some tails because I really want uh, to put something in the middle and then check if the thread is really tight tight enough so then um, pulling in opposite direction not too hard because you will rip the paper of course and then um, making ah see now it's already off but well it's attached so it is solid cotton so this never happened to me but well there's always a first for everything <laughs> so I will leave it like this and maybe I will put a little uh, glued up onto it because these are so big I already attached it, uh, it uh, because then it will I already um, then I can't have the room to do the other signatures now I will fold it to that side and now the first signature is attached to the book so that's how what it's look what it looks like, and I feel it's a little bit hard. So it's not that I really uh, pulled a little bit hard. So with the next one, I will try to not do that so hard. I also wanted to show you something. Let's see where I put it. This is for when I do other stitches like the Coptic stitch I have something like this and normally the thread looks like this but I made it a little bit thinner that's why it's a little bit crinkly like this because I pulled it uh, apart so this is how it looks like and this is for the Coptic stitch I really love the Coptic stitch uh, most of my books that I made are the Coptic stitch, but I also have this one. This is also the long stitch. This was my own design. The Geisha notebook, if you remember it. I worked a little bit more into it, so maybe I can show you when it's all done. Uh, I can show you one page I really love quickly. <laughs> I know we're busy on another book but uh, let's take a minute to see where it is ah here it is I really love this one this is also my designed paper and with a butterfly it's feathers with paper it's a combination of that so I really like this so this was a mock-up to try to make uh, my own designed um, book this was the first time so I will try to <laughs> make this work because I did I couldn't find found 
find my big nail. Um, I mean, a needle. So I will try to do this, but it never works. So I will try it. I never did this on camera and my eyes are not that good. <laughs> so I had um, an, uh, the water, well, I had a uh, sort of an emer emergency in my home. There was water coming out of my, um, well, where the Oh, I don't know what to call it. Service kettle. No, that's not the name. I should have looked it up. <laughs> but I had um, water came out of the attic, came running down. And I had an emer emergency because it wa it was, the water was coming onto my, uh, my electric wire so I didn't have any uh, electric and I didn't have any any um, internet or anything so that was really a shock so this worked finally <laughs> I will leave this but I really want to make uh, to see if this I think this is not long enough but i will see so i will get the other signature this is not so bulky as as the other one and i already made the holes so and then i will turn it around and see what is the front this is the front and i will turn it around again <laughs> in circles and see what is the upper side so this side is the good side and this time uh, of course you will start in the middle and leave a tail it's the same thing if i can find find the holes from all the signatures yes so i will leave a tail i think i'm going to make it uh, because I don't have enough I'm going to do it like this make a little bit and leave a um, good tail so this uh, goes in the middle of that of that signature so you I really have to turn it around let's see if I can do it like this I'm not used to doing this on camera, so I was a little bit nervous to do this, but well, there's always a first for everything, so I'm just trying. And let's see if I get it the right way. No, because I saw this was the other way around. Or did I do that the other way around? Yeah. <laughs> I did one thing the other way around, so I was really <laughs> thinking. Okay, well, I'm going... Then, when the tail is in the middle, you go to... Um, let's see where my thread is. I'm making a mess out of things. <laughs> and then, uh, you go down. Let's see which way is down that way so you're on the outside and then you're going down for the second one and first i will go through the cover ah, it already went through the paper so that's uh, really neat it was lined up correctly and that's why it worked um, really well so now i'm going to the bottom all the way to the bottom and then out oh let's do that a little bit careful more careful well like this and then 
I will make uh, the thread a little bit longer. I see I just measured it not correctly. I will show you another time how to measure. So I will have to pull it a little bit without um, pull everything out, of course. So and then go out uh, the second row on the up. Uh, side, upper side, and then go in the middle like the other one because now you're on the outside of the cover and now you will go on the inside to the inside through the middle hole and then let's see um, well I didn't get through the papers this time but I will see if I can do that put that stuff aside for a minute because the middle one is uh, really a little bit tricky because of that extra paper I put there well, let's try to do that and yeah it worked so now I'm pulling off my needle so I'm getting this all through like this and it's the same thing as the other one you will have to get one trap the middle threads and then pull a little bit not too hard because the other one is a little bit stiff now so and then trap the middle thread with those two and make the knots and then I am not uh, pulling that hard as the last time so three times and I will leave the tails because maybe I will uh, put something in it and I will get those bulky things out of the way because they're too <laughs> too bulky to work with and now the second signature is in so you you can see already what it's becoming I didn't show you all the papers yet because I I'm busy with another book of Genevieve and uh, uh, this is from the another book the other book <laughs> I will show you Southern Charm is the name so I can't believe it I did this upside down <laughs> it's really oh no I I see it now it's not upside down well no I did it the right way oh <laughs> well that's okay then and now I'm going to try to do the last signature I had three so and I will try to thread it again on camera, which I really think it's um, difficult to do, if I can say that, <laughs> because I already think it's difficult. So without um, doing this on camera, so I'm getting the needle. I haven't. A bigger one so I'm making it a little bit with my and I'm trying to get it in the light so I can see it try to make it straight <laughs> mm. that's not working so the weather it really turned on us <laughs> Now it's raining. Yesterday it was really nice and the day before it was really nice but now the weather turned and it's raining and raining and it's really really the wind is really blowing also so I can't see it really good. I will try to do it with the other side. Let's see, I see there's a knot also, so I will untangle that. Oh, this is double. 
Hmm. Well, then I will leave it on this side and try. It's uneven also, so cut it, cut a bit, bit off. Because it's two, two little threads. It's cotton, but it's two. Then it's really a little bit difficult to get in the needle, on the needle, through the needle. <laughs> so. If you don't want to see this, you can you can uh, get it uh, play a little bit further. So, well, I can't get it. So maybe I will um, end the video and thread it. But I'm giving it one last go. I really like the way uh, this uh, came together and I really like all of the stuff that my mom gave to me. I'm so thankful to her and she's really thinking about what I need and she also gave me some scissors and uh, other paper and she really want to try to think what what does my daughter need to make all these books <laughs> and she made cards but she stopped doing that and also she makes uh, little doll houses so um, that's what she did but now uh, she is a little bit older now and but she just wanted to stop she doesn't have any time she has so many friends and so many children, so many family. <laughs> She's always busy and doing all that. So I really um, need something to help me do this. So I will take it over there. Let's see if it's working right now because I'm nervous. I can't get it right. And my eyes are not that good, so I always had glasses from six, but from six years old until now. But uh, my eyes really are going, <laughs> so I will get, uh, will need new um, glasses. Well, I give it a one last go, so. You guys, you already waited long enough for me. Doesn't work. Doesn't want to comply with me today. The other two, they went perfectly, but... Um, but now... Well, no, 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 really doesn't work. Well, when I really uh, was happy that the water, when the water came down, that nothing really bad happened, so, and I was away. I was visiting my mom and when I came back I discovered later on that I had this that the all of a sudden I was sitting down okay 